Hey guys, welcome back to the Whippy Studio, and today I'm going to be doing a full season recap, season four of Greenhouse Academy. So I have a lot to get through. Um, this is going to be like my on my block season three recap, um, except laid out a little bit different. Instead of going by characters, I just have a lot of key points that I'm going to talk about. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, Grand Academy Season 4 recap. Okay, I'm going to move this right to right there. Okay, key point. So, Haley and Leo are both alive. So, at the end of last season, it was unsure who was alive. Luckily, um, luckily they were both alive, even though Haley was, like, trapped. But then she was able to get out. Um, and there's, like, I mean, we know we know that neither of them were going to be um dead but honestly um was i mean i was glad i liked the um how it all came about i mean they were th searching for Haley a lot um but then she was able to get out on her own so i and i honestly enjoy i mean that first episode really focused on that but also the magnetite is related to the virus so and the magnetite was a big thing last season where it was just like a gift um to the um ravens um, but it turns out that if it's heated up, that means the virus gets heated up. So they had to cool down the virus, which that idea of Daniel saved Leo. So, um, that was, re that was really good. So that's what caused Leo to be alive. And Haley was already doing pretty well, but Leo was a lot sicker than Haley. So, um, yeah, but then Daniel had a good idea, but then of course there's this jealousy over Haley and Leo. So last season, Haley and Daniel were together and Leo was just kind of like, um, over by the side, he dated Becca for a little bit, um, but his jealousy uh, became more this season because Haley and Leo have now spent more time together because they were in the same hospital for half the season. So they got jealous, and while him and Haley were at the movies, he um, uh, got a. There was a text from Leo. He went and, and deleted it, which I mean, this reminds me of a um, episode from High School Musical: The Musical, the series where EJ's jealous of Ricky and Nene. This is almost the exact same thing, honestly. Ricky is Leo, Daniel is EJ, and then there's Haley. Uh, this is like almost the exact same scenario um, with the three of them. So I'm like, oh, this is like the exact same. I mean, seriously. So I don't know. Also, Enzo is alive. He's alive and well, still working with the bad guys. But then he, he was different this season. Um, um, we didn't see as much of him, but um, he stole the magnetite, we found out officially. But uh, I didn't mind him as much this season because it turned out that he wasn't as bad as we thought he is. Of course, he's not a good character. Um, but then, um, I mean, there was one time where he almost attacked Parker, but um, he also became a suspect for the whole causing the virus thing, but he was able to get out of that pretty quickly. So, oh, good for him. We also see that Jason continued to work with the bad guys, um, which that this has been happening since season one when he started working with Judy and Marcus. Then season three, he started working with them. Um, a, a, with another person. Oh, I mean, I, I was like disappointed, but because then at the end, Jason takes off. So I don't know. So also Haley and Leo get kidnapped by Eric. So as you remember from um, the first seasons, Eric was um, uh, uh, Carter's like friend in this um, case, but like then he kidnapped them in the season finale. So that was like the big thing. It was kind of like how there's like a bomb and Haley and her mom were about to die at the end of season two. This is almost the same thing in season four. The finale was a lot like season four because then I'm going to um, talk about that and the awards of how it was, they were a lot the same. But now we'll just talk about the couples for a little bit. Haley and Leo get back together at the end. We know what was going to happen and they did. And she broke up with Daniel as well beforehand. So um, uh, we don't know what's going to happen with Daniel. He's the only one without a um, girlfriend. Right now, literally out of everyone. Well, besides Becca, but she's not going to get one. Um, Parker and Sophie do get together finally. They still were working together with Max and Emma to solve this whole thing. And they were building it up. They were hinting at it. And then it finally happened in the season finale. Um, Alex and Brooke get back together. And they teased this as well. Alex gave Brooke the encouragement to do her big speech at the tech conference, which I was like glad to see as well because we haven't seen that since season one. Um, so I was I'm glad to hear that, and I really liked Brooke's speech. I thought she was the perfect person to give it, so I enjoyed that. Um, and then, yeah, Parker and Sophie got um, back together, and Alex and Brooke got back together, and Max and Emma get together. Um, we finally turned out that Leaf wasn't a real... Well, Leaf, we knew Leaf wasn't a real thing, but um, 
Max then admitted that ja- he broke up with Jackie. There was a couple Jackie mentions in there, but she's gone. I wasn't really expecting her to come back. I had hopes, but I don't think the actress is just really she doesn't she doesn't want to do it. Um, but Max and Emma, um, I mean, this happened pretty early on. It wasn't the season finale. It was like the third episode in when they started, and I was like, okay, good for them. I like Max and Jackie better, but I understand if Jackie can't be in it, then Max should at least have someone. And of course, they were going to go with this because Emma's like. They have a lot more in common than Max and Jackie, so I don't know. Anyways, those were a lot of key points right there. Um, and then, of course, the Season 4 Awards. I did this in my all my block Season 3 recap, so of course I'm going to do this in the um, Season 4 Awards for this one. Favorite characters are Haley and Leo, mainly because they fight it through their battles throughout the whole season. Uh, they were able to deal with um, a lot of stuff. I mean, Daniel's jealousy. One more thing. Becca was also jealous of um, Haley and Leo's relationship because Haley wrote Leo a note when he was in, re- in rehab and Becca threw away the note. And like, we know that like Leo and Becca dated like an episode last season. He didn't show any real feelings. So she's just jealous of the whole thing. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I thought this was wrapped up last season. Apparently it's not, but well, favorite couples are all of them. I mean, Haley and Leo, Alex and Brooke, Parker and Sophie, Max and Emma, all of them besides Haley and Daniel. I enjoyed because... Uh, they gave all these the perfect amount of screen time. Favorite episode is the finale. I mean, so much action happened, just like season two. But what I liked is that it got wrapped up pretty early in the season um, t- four finale and in the season two finale. And then everything else happens afterwards. And, like, all the couples, like, get together, get back together in this, just like season two. Um, so I really like that. It overall score was A-. minus. So um, very good. Honestly, one of the better seasons maybe not as good as season one but definitely one of the better seasons so hey that is gonna be um it for my recap well there's what is one more thing um i'm not gonna put it back into the thing but i think there's a 75 percent chance of season five happening it's probably not gonna happen as soon as we uh hope because like they, they're gonna have to um film it they film season three to, and four back to back so i don't know what's gonna happen with this but I'm just really hoping they continue with it. So I want to thank everyone for watching the Olympia Studio. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way, and bye.